but one of the most common complaints that I hear as an insurance adjuster is when someone's vehicle gets into an accident and then it's deemed a total loss. A lot of people complain about how the total losses are handled and state that the process is unfair. Well, let me give you some tips to help you get through your total loss accident claim. Before we get started, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. It's free and it keeps you informed about all the information about your insurance policies. So let me start by explaining what a vehicle total loss actually is. When your vehicle is involved in an accident and the cost to repair your vehicle is a certain percentage or more of the value of your vehicle. When this happens, the insurance company by state law has to deem your vehicle a total loss. Now there are two ways that an insurance company determines if your vehicle is a total loss. And the method that they use depends on the state in which your vehicle is registered. The first way is using the total loss formula. Now the total loss formula takes the cost of your vehicle repairs plus the salvage value or the value that the insurance company would get when they sell your vehicle for salvage. And if that equals or exceeds your actual cash value or what your vehicle is worth, then your vehicle is a total loss. So let's look at an example. If your vehicle repairs cost $4,000, and the salvage value is $800. And if your vehicle's actual cash value is $5,000, then your vehicle is not a total loss. On the contrary, if your vehicle repair costs $4,500 and the salvage value is $800, then your vehicle is a total loss. The second method is the percentage method. And the percentage method simply takes the repair cost and if it is a certain percentage of your actual cash value, then your vehicle is a total loss. Each state that uses the percentage method will require a different percentage to deem if your vehicle is or is not a total loss. There's a link in the description to a table that shows each state's percentage. So let's look at an example. Say your vehicle is registered in the state of North Carolina, where they use the percentage method and the percentage threshold is 75%. Say your vehicle repairs come to $4,000 and the actual cash value of your vehicle is $5,000. In this scenario, your vehicle would be a total loss due to the fact that your repairs meet or exceed the percentage threshold of 75%. But now let's say your vehicle repairs come to $3,000 and your actual cash value is still $5,000. In this scenario, your vehicle would not be a total loss due to the fact that your repair cost did not meet or exceed the percentage threshold. Now there are some instances where your vehicle is going to be deemed a total loss due to state regulations. The most common examples are when your vehicle has been flooded, submerged in water, or is trapped in a mudslide. When this happens, the insurance company will automatically deem your vehicle a total loss and use your comprehensive coverage to settle the claim. In part two of the series, I will go through some things for you to know when you negotiate your total loss settlement. That way you can get the most amount of money back for your claim. If you liked the video and you found it informative, share it with someone who can use the information. Subscribe to the channel and thank you for allowing the insurance quotient to keep you informed.